Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Clipchamp, which as many of you would know, uh, is now the default and in-house video editor for Windows 11, and it's also, it's also available for Windows 10. And um, just to let you know, with a recent update to Clipchamp, I have noticed, um, just to show you in case you're unaware, that um, you can now create a video with AR, artificial intelligence, where it says quickly auto-compose a video using your own media with AR. So um, this is now rolling out with the most recent update, which um, if you are running the app, you can just head over to the Microsoft Store. And as you can see, um, my app was updated today in my region, the 9th of May. So you can just click on Get Updates, which will update the app to the latest version automatically, which will then add the AR capabilities. So um, if you are interested, just to go through a step-by-step -step process on how to um, create a video using artificial intelligence now in uh, Clipchamp, if you would be interested. And because um, this is going to take quite a long time in real time uh, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to head over to a couple of uh, screenshots uh, for the purpose of this video, just to go through step-by-step -step and not to go and waste time. Now, um, first of all, um, to the top left, you have to create a name for your project. And then um, if we head to the next screenshot, you can choose a type of video you are making. You've got a couple of options. I just chose other. And yeah, in this section, you can add your own media as mentioned. And then to the bottom left, you click on Get Started, which then takes you to this screen. And yeah, you can see it's reviewing your media to the right, which can, can take a couple of minutes, depending on the actual um, original video that you have imported into Clipchamp. So just take note of that. And then when that's actually finished, you click on Next in the bottom left, and that will take you over to this screen where now AR will actually need your help. So you will have to choose um, an aspect ratio. So that's landscape or portrait. I chose landscape. And then heading to the next screen, um, you can choose how long your video should be. So this is where it will actually use AR to um, and make your video the actual length that you want it. So I chose less than 30 seconds. You can choose a minute or full length. Click on next again. And then it takes you to finish your video. And at the top, you can choose um, music. I just chose happy place, which was the default. You, you click on export in the bottom left, which will take you over to this screen where you can see now yeah, in the top left, it's exporting my video. And just um, take note that depending on what you have actually asked it, what length of video you wanted to export, this could take um, a good couple of minutes. And then uh, um, once it's done that, you can see um, it saved it to my downloads folder here in the top right is a, little, a notification. And then obviously you can create a video link and you can save and share your video to these other platforms here in the left-hand menu. So that's just using a couple of screenshots. And then once that's all done, you can then obviously, um, that video is exported then to your local drive. And as mentioned, that uses AR to actually make that video for you. And it actually adds, um, if you make that video using AR, you can see... Um, it adds everything automatically and even adds different um, transitions and cuts and so on just to compress your video down into um, whatever format and whatever length period you're actually asking it to do. So I thought that was interesting and just want to let you know that that feature now, um, AR, has now made its way into Clipchamp if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.